Woodbury police are investigating several cases of online predatory scams called sextortion. The teenagers on Instagram are the targets. Investigators say that the scammers send direct messages to the teenagers asking them for explicit photos. Then they demand money to keep those photos private. This crime is not just limited to Woodbury. Our Mariel Mose spoke to investigators who have tips to keep kids safe online. Communication, constantly communicating with them. And then that way they feel free to do their social media by me. And I can kind of see what they're up to and know their friends better. Linda Walker nurtures open communication with her three teenage daughters who are all on social media. But no matter what, she will always worry. You can't be right by their side introducing them to everybody you know, so you don't know who they're talking to. Right now, Woodbury police are investigating several cases of sextortion in the area, but say it's a state and nationwide problem. They say in most cases, these scammers are posing as women on Instagram and targeting teenage boys. This is a multi-level catfish. Woodbury detective Paul Crocious says online poachers are asking these teenage boys on Instagram private messaging to send them an explicit photo. Then they demand money, usually thousands of dollars. And if the teen doesn't pay, they share the explicit photo with that teenager's Instagram followers. Crocious says this kind of crime has been happening frequently since the end of last year. The initial reports that we took in uh, were only about a fourth of what I've actually identified as victims, which just goes to show how unreported this crime actually is. The Washington County Attorney's Office says the worst thing a parent can do to protect their child is to ban them from social media altogether. That will encourage them to use secret means to get online. Instead, they encourage parents to talk openly with their child about social media and setting boundaries. When they do have a social media page that it is marked private, make sure to never accept a friend request from somebody unless they know them to have no personal information on there. In Woodbury, Marielle Mose, WCCO 4 News. Woodbury police have not shed any arrest details yet. A lot of the evidence they found has been linked to some IP addresses in Nigeria.